Silicon Valley enjoys a worldwide reputation as a place where new technologies and products are invented. The list goes on and on, and it goes back as far as we all can remember. But this year is bringing something that few of us have seen in any recent years. That is the lack of anything really new coming out of Silicon Valley. Oh, sure. Apple announced the iPhone 14. But what is really new about the iPhone 14 except maybe a higher price, that is. And is the iPhone 14 really any different than the iPhone 11 from three years ago? Maybe a little around the edges. But, fundamentally, not much change. And what about Google? What have they done that is new recently? Of course, we all know and love the main Google search engine and Gmail. And Google Maps. And Google Translate? What would life be like without Google? And, then there is Facebook. Oh, I mean meta platforms. Last year things got so bad for Facebook that CEO Mark Zuckerberg changed the entire soul of the company. So now, what used to be the classical Facebook is something of a second fiddle. And the metaverse is the future of meta platforms. I suppose if there were anything that is really new, it is the metaverse. So we all should give Mark Zuckerberg credit for that. But, what is the metaverse, really? Is it really even something that can change our lives like the iPhone did? Only time will tell. But, this video is about how Silicon Valley might be the main actor missing in action and causing the economy to soften. Steve Jobs and the iPhone bailed the world out of the Great Recession? This video asks one of the most provocative questions of our time. What does it mean for big tech companies? What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. When Google introduced the new Pixel 7 smartphone product line, the phones looked the same as last year. Except for one change, the colors. The Pixel 6 had come in light seafoam blue and a coral pink. The 2022 Pixel 7 in lemongrass and snow colors. A new color called Stormy Black has replaced another black called Obsidian. What an innovation, Google. And that is what this innovation seems to be about in Silicon Valley this year, new colors. And Google is not the only perpetrator. Many companies introduced supposedly new technology products that have only one new thing, the color. That is pretty weak when it comes to innovation. Microsoft introduced the Surface Pro 9 tablet in new colors, sapphire blue and forest green. The new Microsoft Surface Laptop 5 features the new colors metal, which is silver, sage, which is green, and sandstone which is tan. Actually, I am old enough to remember the 1970s when refrigerators were introduced in avocado and harvest gold. How ridiculous that was. But people still bought them, including my grandmother. The iPhone 14 comes in starlight, champagne color and midnight, which is black. If you recall, Apple previously unveiled two other shades of green, green and alpine green. These days, purple is becoming the latest techno fad color. This year, Samsung introduced a color named, Bora Purple, for the Galaxy S22 smartphone. The word, Bora, actually means, purple, in Korean. The quality of all phones is so high, it's getting difficult for consumers to even notice what, better, is anymore, said Kelly Goldsmith, professor at Vanderbilt University. As a result, Tech brands need to adopt new strategies. Introducing different, niche colors is just one way to do it, Goldsmith added. Some consumers, especially the ones who are fashion-oriented, may see value in new and different colors. Then there are those people who have everything but still need to buy gifts for Christmas and birthdays. Devices, whether they're smartphones, wearables, PCs, or tablets, are an extension of the user's persona, both in terms of who they are and who they aspire to be said Ramon Lamas, an analyst at IDC Research. Introducing a different color as a way for devices and their owners to distinguish themselves, added Lamas. But just as basic black, white, gray and silver are the top colors in the automobile industry, these colors tend to resonate most with smartphone owners, said Peggy Van Allen of the Color Marketing Group. Still, a shift has been underway toward stronger colors, Van Allen noted. If you were old enough to remember back that far, you probably recall when Apple famously introduced, Bondi Blue. That was one notable changes that occurred in the late 1990s when Steve Jobs returned to Apple. Bondi Blue turned out to be a top seller. The rose gold iPhone met with similar success in 2015. 
Warm metallics went away and then came back in style, and rose gold really reached mass appeal, Van Allen said. It peaked at a time when social media influencers were gobbling it up, and the popularity of millennial pink also helped to usher it in, Van Allen added. Both pinks lasted longer than most forecasters would have predicted, she also noted. It was carried along by other trends of the time that enforced the desire for personalization and female empowerment, Van Allen also said. Of course, the names of these supposedly new colors seem to be getting more esoteric. This is also likely a strategic play, said Barbara Kahn, professor at the Wharton School. Color names that are descriptive but odd can spark positive reactions because the consumer likes being able to solve the puzzle, Kahn said. Color names that are ambiguous also spark attention and customers work to figure out what the meaning might be, Khan also noted. Of course, most phones are kept in a case where nobody can really see the color. There are some transparent cases available from both first and third parties, said Eric Abrutsezi, research director at market research firm Abbey Research. All of which brings us back to the financial reality of what is really going on. Specifically, that not much of anything new is coming out of Silicon Valley these days. A lot of innovation and new things have come from Silicon Valley over the years. But, right now, it seems as though Silicon Valley is living off of its reputation. It will not take long until the whole world sees through all of that. In fact, it may actually be happening right now. If you follow this channel, you all know that Google and Meta platforms reported decidedly disappointing Q2 earnings. Meta has posted shrinking revenue for two quarters and maybe a third quarter as well. Meta has begun quietly pushing out a significant number of employees. Analysts expect these reductions to be a precursor to deeper cuts. Meta has about 83,000 employees, which is 32% higher than at this time last year. Layoffs at big tech companies are big news because the biggest tech companies went on a veritable hiring spree throughout the pandemic. But the United States is now teetering on the brink of recession and the digital ad market has plunged. Shares in Meta platforms are down by over 50% so far this year. Snap has publicly announced layoffs of 20% of its employees. This year, it is clear that Wall Street analysts are valuing profitability over prospective growth. As a result, unprofitable tech companies' shares are getting punished. It seems that the day of reckoning for tech unicorns has arrived. And all companies are forced to either be profitable, find a merge partner, or die. The window for initial public offerings is effectively closed. That is why some Wall Street investment bankers are predicting a wave of tech mergers later this year. But, what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.